What's going on guys? This is Omega Fraz of Omega Fraz Gaming and today I'm using a or doing a little showcase of the Shade Tree Lodge paid creation. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit small smaller than the uh, Winter Frost one. Uh, and I wouldn't exactly call it a guide because there's not much here. I mean everything's so condensed, but to uh, get to the the location you need to go um, right over here across from Heart Moon Mill um, over by Riften area and there's a place called Shade Tree Lodge right here um, you don't need to do anything any quest or anything to get here you just have to walk up and uh, you get the house uh, let's look at the exterior first. You got a little sitting area. It's got a nice view of the mill. Uh, you got a nern root spot here. A fishing area. The boat does isn't a working boat. Unfortunately, that'd be nice if it was, but no. Uh, Get some uh, beehives here. Chicken eggs. Uh, some crops that you can plant. Then you got your uh, your forge. This is not a sky forge. grindstone pretty much everything you need uh, don't see uh, yeah there it is uh, the smelter I don't think there's anything down here yeah there's no secrets or anything down here so but um, it's in a pretty good location let's go look at the interior Everything um, in this mod is pretty much static. Uh, Eleonora, uh, the uh, mod author of this mod, is really famous for her uh, named storage and uh, OCD uh, decorating. Like, no offense taken, that's actually a compliment. Like, I would love for Eleonora to design the interior design of my house. <laughs> But, like, yeah, the silverware, like, there's a lot of st uh, static stuff. Uh, the baking service is uh, it's unique and, uh, and a unique texture. Uh, these carpets are nice. Uh, got baskets of, of vegetables for name storage. You got a Shrine of Akatosh. So this is a really good mod for, like, survival mode. Because, uh, you got your, your, uh, Shrine here. And I believe just like the, uh, Plantation, I believe you don't even have to pay for this one. If survival mode is enabled. You got a, uh, a throne here. Some books, or some, uh, bookshelves. These are named bookshelves, so... Uh, you don't have the, like, this one has the normal cap limit, and you can put individual ones, but you can put, like, your, uh, other bookshelves, or books in your name storage, and not be capped, because it's just a container. Um, get the static fishing, uh, uh, book here. This throne, unfortunately, I, I was sitting on it to check on it. It doesn't have the uh, the throne uh, animation for uh, Ulfric's throne, which would be awesome, because I like uh, that sitting animation, but it's just a normal chair. You got a mannequin here. Uh, some fishing plaques that are just static. All in all, it's really condensed and really beautiful. It's uh, it's got. Um, I don't think you can interact with those. 
It's got a lot of uh, like display items that are just unique. Um, yet yeah, weapon plaques. The uh, butterflies in a jar are a nice touch. Yeah, one of these urns that I wish that you could actually loot uh, elsewhere in Skyrim. Go down here, you got Staff Enchanter, uh, a unique Arcane Enchanter, uh, an Alchemy Lab, storage area for ingredients, a uh, spider in viewing uh, chamber. For the, the scrolls. And then you go into the bedroom. You got a safe here for jewelry storage. Uh, Dragon Priest mask storage. A bed. A little knapsack. A regular bookcase. And then, what's this? A suspicious cabinet. A secret room with a uh, trophy display room I guess you would call this or an armory it's got some displays no unique name slots that I that I noticed it just doesn't have uh, like I know a lot of mods have like racks for specific items but these are just generic you can put any item in every slot um instead of um instead of like say one for ariel's shield or uh, like harkon's blade or whatnot they usually a lot of the mods have specific slots for specific named uniques but not this one uh all in all, this is like a really good location if you want to keep your all, all your items in specific slots and you want to stick to a, a, an organization system. Um, but overall, I, I, I've never been disappointed with an alien or a mod. Um, they are really, really well done and really beautiful mods uh display wise you can't go wrong it's definitely worth the money it's small compact it doesn't give you uh uh like it has everything you need without taking up a lot of space because everything's so condensed um that being said there are some quirks to this kind of place it, it's that this place is so small that uh, having followers in here, especially the pets, can get in your way. Um, like you can get stuck on this stairwell if the pet if you have certain pets following you. Um, there is no there's no second bed, so and there's no child children's bed. So I don't believe that. Uh, like I believe you could get this as a marriage thing. I'm not sure because this is a double bed. Um, but you can't get a child's bed, so you can't adopt a child here. Not that that really matters much. It doesn't really do anything except give you an achievement. Um, but yeah, no, this is a good mod. Um, the bone chime on the front door is a good touch, too. But it's, uh, static. I like the, uh, the mammoth skull on the, on the roof. I would say that this is, like, a good home for, like, a survival hunting or fishing house. Uh, it's available for free, uh... It's a stone throw away from Riften. You can just store all your items here uh, after going through the car to the carriage. Uh, 
it's in a really good pro- climate, so you you won't unlike the uh, winter frost one, you won't uh, like be co- have to worry about the cold. Um, has everything you need, so it's pretty good. Um, that's a, that's about all. This is uh, just a really short showcase. I just wanted to give you a whole try before you buy thing. But in general, Eleonora mods are, you can never go wrong with Eleonora mods. So uh, definitely pay for it, support her. Uh, she deserves it. All right, bye.